Hey guys, welcome to my first sketchbook tour. So this sketchbook I made myself, as you can see. And I have my little assistant with me here, Sassy. <laughs> she just decided to, to hang out here and be a little cuddle bug. Oh, she's a cuddle bug. I love you, baby. Yeah, I love you. Beautiful girl. Beautiful girl. So I'm exploiting my cat for views, I guess. <laughs> no, but let's get started. As I said, I made this sketchbook myself. And yeah. So I started it on the 6th of September and I ended it on the 22nd of October. So around a month and a half, I say, I managed to fill it up. So yeah, but also some of these are actually swatch pages. So this first one is that I got my new duo marker pens and then I swatched them. So this is a swatch page for them. And then we have, because I needed to, my artists are fine and I just also swatched them. And here's a swatch of other pens so I can see like how this has formed on the paper. And there is a uh, what's it called? The, the lawnmower. So I'm sorry if you guys are gonna hear that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, see and they performed on the paper and how well they were and so on. Um, and I have this that I did like for the Passing Girl Challenge. I did Rema. Rema is my character from my novel. She is very cute. <laughs> so I drew her and used my uh, the dual art markers. I mean, most of these pictures are actually made with the dual art markers. So that's, that's a good thing. And then I did Taina, who is my cute Indian girl. I just drew her because I wanted to do something different and you know, not just like human or something. You guys have seen this one. This is when I reviewed my fine color markers and I worked with a palette of um, 11 colors. Well, 12 colors, but one was colorless blender, so 11 colors and then I used the uh, um, white gel pen, of course, to add effects and stuff. Here is a sketch I did with Captain America that I never finished. Yeah, he's my favorite Avenger, guys. Which one is yours? Let me know. I love Captain America, he's my favorite. <laughs> mm, I don't think I have any adult pictures in here. But I have to show. No. Oh, this is a sketch, I didn't finish it, but, uh, well, her eyes are about a bit uneven, but this is what's for someone who wanted a free sketch, and I was. Because I was offering free sketches, and this is their dwarf character, um, the Dark Iron Dwarf from World of Warcraft. So this is her. I don't know if I might finish it or not. Yeah. Um, this is a self portrait I did. Again, many of these are used with the dual art markers. This is me. This was before I dyed my hair. In case you guys don't know, there will be a self portrait later where it shows my dyed hair. And this was like a first shirt I wanted, and I have a shirt now. But the shirt isn't this wide in the color. This is actually just one. Yeah, but it's still a really comfy shirt. So I did a set portrait. And then we have my random monster girl. I just doodled something. Actually inspired by my friend Pim Chuchu. Pim, so Pim Chuchu on Instagram if you want to check her out. Yeah. I did some random kind of monster girl that I thought was cool. There's a mouth there, it's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> and, oh, I didn't ever finish this one. Um, I, I played this game called Dragon's Nest on my cell phone, but I don't play anymore. And then I'm drawing my character, and because they had such rid ridiculous anatomy, like the female characters were like super tiny torsos with big boobs, and then they had like enormous hips and legs, and well, hips and thighs, and then like legs. Super short torso, so they were like shipified. And uh, I drew my Final Fantasy character, she's super cute. Uh, and I can use those, those kind of markers. Um, here she is again, like so you guys can see it better. I drew her again and again using these dual art markers. That's my character. And she's adorable. 
I should show this more prep though. Yeah, I'm not Oh well. Um, then I guess. I saw, um. Oops, oops, <laughs> oops. I saw a video by Mira Weiler on YouTube where she just did like different shapes and forms with pens just randomly, and so I did this. I was inspired by her. Which is funny because right now on my screen there I have a video by her as well. I'm watching. Then I drew this port. You know. <laughs> ah, they, they keep falling apart. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I drew this this portrait for my commission examples. For this is for the bust example. The hair isn't the greatest, but eh, I mean, it's an example anyway. Just this being cute. And then I have a. This is something I'm working on for the channel. That's why it's just line art. I scan this and I'm gonna make it animated. So it's like an animated outro or something. Yeah. Oh, my mascot is on. Well, there you guys can see like all <laughs> Some lines didn't go away when I raised the media racer, so sometimes, you know, doesn't want to cooperate. Anyway, I have my first monster girl I did. She is. Eye monster, I guess, because she has eyes all over. So I did this with Google Kiss uh, Monster Girl Maker, and this just only like this, like the bust up, and then I just did the rest on my own, like add an eyes and so on, and her outfit, and she likes to go partying, and she loves to see everything, you know. You gotta have those puns. I think she's really cute. And then I did my other monster girl. You guys have seen this video, haven't you? Um, her name is hang on. <laughs> her name is Nora, and she's also with made with a cool kid monster girl maker. So this is Nora. I actually used copies for her. So I think I used copies for the other one as well. And we have my entity, like. I also made with the Gookies uh, Monster Girl Maker, but yeah, she's pretty cool I think. She's, she's like an entity and she's like a space, galaxy, alien, I don't know, something something dark side. <laughs> she's pretty cool. I like her. She looks so sassy with her expression. Like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh. Next I have a Primarina that I started sketch but I never finished. Primarina's Pokemon. I actually really like that design for Pokemon, but again, I never finished it because I'm like, I don't know. The face is pretty complete, but other than that, I, I don't know. Pokemon, some Pokemon has such weird uh, anatomy and stuff like that, but yeah. Um, here is my other self portrait that I did quite recently in my Batman piano, so this is what I wear when I'm cold. I wear my bathroom pyjamas and I wear this um, pink. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Like a shirt? Sweater? I don't know. It's quite long and it has pockets on it. And then I wear my slippers. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this self portrait. I think it turned out really well. You can see it's me. And this is when I dyed my hair because you know I dyed it. I should dye it purple, but it turned out pink in the end. I don't know why. Yeah, this is me. I did not include all my birthmarks and stuff like that. Eh. I'm not saying I'm Batman, you're saying no one has seen me and Batman in the same room together. That's why it says on the shirt, in case you guys know, don't know. I have that shirt in some of our vlogs, maybe you've seen it. Yeah. Uh, let's see, next up we have actually. Yeah, this is. You guys have also seen this video when I turned this into my play figurine. Um, actually, I have it right here, so I can show you guys. This is how she turned out. I forgot, now I can see, I forgot like to do the, the white shine thing with their eyes, but... Ah, it's okay. Keep going. Just a bit. So she sits on my desk. And then we have this... I talked about this drawing when I... When I the this idea of this drawing when I was doing that video with the clay figurine. I was like, oh well, what would she wear from underwear, like laundry day? Oh, I'm gonna do like a laundry day drawing and then I did it. So she's like hanging her little dress on laundry and she has her like a little top there and some clothes in the basket here. 
yeah, I didn't do a background because I hate backgrounds and I'm just lazy, I guess. Sorry, this sound. Um, I just did some swirly words with my Posca pen because the other side is uh, something. This is Charlie Day. Feel free to use it. Yeah, but that that's my sketchbook for yeah my first sketchbook tour, guys. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, let me know which one is your favorite. Do you, what what do you like me to see? Do what would you like me to draw next? Is there anything you would like to see? Would you like me to improve on something? I'm always for positive reinforcement, positive criticism. So that, that's good. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and every Friday I post an art video. And every Wednesday so far I'm posting collectibles videos. That might end soon, because I'm running out of collectibles to show. But yeah, thanks guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching! Have a great one! Take care of yourselves! Peace everybody! Bye!